I've been here for a while now mommy was here at the airport with me and now she's gone and I'm so tired like I'll do anything for my mom but she woke me up early this morning um, for something really last minute so now I'm so tired like I'm so tired I just drank a cup of free coffee and I don't even be drinking coffee okay I do when I come here I do but I don't even be drinking coffee like that in real life <laughs> this is not real life um, but I'm drinking it because I need this I'm going to Orange County I'm going to Santa Ana Irvine California um, and it's a six hour flight like probably five hours and 40 something minutes or whatever six hours and 10 minutes i need this uh but when i get there it'll be 11 40. i think i'm gonna take a nap i probably wake up around two o'clock go to the pool i don't think i'm gonna leave the hotel um yeah I curled my hair last night before I went to sleep and it's so beautiful. I'm so proud of me. This side looks better. You can't see this side but this side looks better. For some reason I just think I left hand curl better. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Um, I need to fix my lace though. That's killing me. But I'm going to end off the vlog this weekend. So I'm going to see what I can do today um, and put that in the vlog because I leave Sunday so I'm going to start editing the vlog from um, from today so I can upload it literally tomorrow so we've got London we've got at home in New York and we've got California I think that's a nice vlog so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe bye squad i am in or at santa anna santa anna and it is cold it's cold i can't fish that picture in the thumbnail because it is chilly like i might even go upstairs and put my jeans on my jeans pants but i'm very disappointed i really wanted to go to the pool it's a nice big pool um but i'm disappointed the weather is messing with me so I may go over to the mall and just see what they got and come back to the room watch movies and that's it but look at this picture this is basically the pool like uh oh let me pull it up for some reason I think I have to turn my brightness down a little bit I will pop it up on the screen. I don't know why I keep doing this and why I keep saying that. But this is basically... Um, this is the pool. It's beautiful, no? Like, it looks so darn good. But it is windy. It looks like it's about to rain. And I curl this hair beautifully. And it's cool. Like, I'm not going in know cold water for catch cool. Like, anywho. So they have a shuttle. I'm going to see when that shuttle comes and if it can take me to the mall or let me go on Google Maps and just see what the walk is like. I may just walk over there myself. I could have stayed in New York for all of this. It is raining. Everybody's literally running inside from the rain. It is that bad. And somebody just looked at his weather app and it's supposed to be 100% till 3 o'clock. I mean, it's supposed to be raining until 3 o'clock. I'm... Hurts. So I'm gonna figure out the next door. I was just in Hollister. I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna go next and then I'll be right back. Alright, so I got a couple of 
couple stuff. Um, they have a Georgia Smith album playing. So I'm gonna be quick. There's this skirt with this high slit. I think I like. There's this dress. It's a silk brown midi dress. I think I like it. There's this wide leg ripped pants. I think I like that one too. There's this white one with no rips, but it's distressed at the bottom. And this is the last thing because the song is like going on. But then there's this dress. I'm gonna try them on and put videos of all of them over. Bye. I don't recall the last time that I vlogged. It was definitely the same day. I just don't remember when. My nose are getting stuffy. Uh, I wish I had some tea tree oil to... <laughs> that was not cute. Anyways... This is my little haul from today. I didn't end up buying anything at Urban Outfitters. I was just so sad and depressed that it didn't fit me how I wanted it to fit me. And the dress at Urban Outfitters was like really nice. I may go back for it. I may check online. Uh, but I felt good when one of the employees said that their sizing is just off. I felt really good. And I definitely worked at Urban Outfitters in university in New York, in Buffalo. But, sorry I sound funny, but in Buffalo. And the sizing was not that crazy. Like, some of them things, like, let's say I tried on a size 10, for example, right? It was tight. Like, a size 10 is not tight on me. I've tried on multiple different size 10s from different stores. Size 10 is not tight on me. I wear 8. An 8 is tight on me. So I'm just like, it was just, it just low vibrational. <laughs> but anyways, I also got some fried rice from Panda Express. And I brought some chicken. The same chicken that I think I showed y'all in this vlog. Anywho, a girl is talking a little bit too much. Um... Here we go. Let me jump right into it. Shauna Kay put me on to this. I need to check my Instagram to see if she responded back. But I'm pretty sure she had bought one of these. Or maybe a couple of them. And she just said she loved it so much. And I've seen people rave about the um, moisturizer. The balm, body balm, body butter for uh, Sol de Janeiro. But I've never seen anybody rave about the perfume until Shauna K did so I was like let me go smell it my nose are clogged but I still smell it on my hand it smells so good like I can literally smell it through my clogged nose this one is number 71 and it is caramelized vanilla and macadamia yeah this these are the fragrance notes oh my god guys it's just delicious the top note is caramelized vanilla and sea salt the mid note is toasted macadamia nut and white chocolate and the dry note is tonka bean and coconut blossom and you can smell the macadamia you can smell the vanilla you can smell like a dash of sea salt this is amazing anyways too much of that then I want to tr test out this first aid ultra repair cream. I need a new hydration. I need a new uh, moisturizing cream for my face. My ordinary one is running out. So I picked up the little one just so I don't have to do a full investment. <coughs> so sorry. I sound like a, a wolf, a dog or something. Like, why did I sound like that? Um, this is from, uh, Urban Decay, and I originally was gonna buy the one size, but one of the, um, employees there, amazing girl, love her, Isabel, 
I know she's not going to see this, but she did a great job in getting me to spend money. She was making them commissions. If commissions was a person, if commissions was a physical person, if you opened the dictionary to commission and you saw a picture, you would see her. She did a great job. Like I had to be like, Isabel help me. She did a great job. So I ended up getting this um, setting spray. And I need a setting spray because I'm tired of my face melting at the end of my trip and it be melting. Because it be looking so cute, but it, it be melting. I only got two more stuff, so let me hurry up. Um, TikTok has influenced me to get the Fussy Heat Uche on TikTok has definitely convinced me it looked really pretty I'm um, gonna have to put on a liner and see I really hope like I am hoping with all of my might that it looks good on me really hoping um, I have the other one and I've been using it a lot so I want to start using this oh this smells so nice at least I think I can smell a little bit of this um, this with some brown lip liner and then I got this um, super goop play SPF 50 love this stuff this one seems bigger than anyone that I've ever had before I do want the tube but I have insurance and they cover SPF higher than 50 and I it's expensive so I want to use my insurance to pay for that but I need SPF now I feel like my skin is going kind of crazy without it so I need SPF right now. So this is the one that I got. I love this one. It's just absolutely amazing. They had a, a sheen, a spray, but I think that would be very beneficial if I were to wear like more makeup and I wanted to spray on something on my face. But I feel like I feel like this one is just best to go with the one that I'm familiar with. Uh, yeah, and that's really it. I just want to do a big shout out to uh, a couple of my subscribers. I got um, this, uh, one of the gifts from my Amazon wish list. And I'm so grateful beyond belief. It's just absolutely amazing. It's given me more space in my bag. Like, I am so grateful. And then on top of that, um, I have makeup removing wipes at home i didn't end up bringing them with me today um and i realized another one of my gifts were actually stolen because i i don't i didn't receive it and i don't see it in the mail room um and it's the inserts and i feel so bad that like somebody spent their money on me and i don't have the product and not even for like me i just hate when people spend money on me and I feel like it has gone to waste I don't know if you if you understand what I'm trying to say you get what I'm trying to say I just it's like somebody buy me something unless it's ugly and that's different because if you buy me an ugly sweater girl I'm not wearing that but let's say you buy me something that I really really wanted that I expressed that I wanted and this is your way of showing me that like you love me and you're getting it for me and you buy it, you send it to me, and someone steals it. Like, I would feel so bad that you spent your money on that. And you it didn't get to accomplish what you wanted it to accomplish. You know? Like, it's not even the fact that I didn't get it. Um, it's the fact that someone used their money to spend on me. I think I've explained it the best that I could. Anyways, um, I'm not going to upload a video tomorrow after all. I'm so sorry, but I do want to, uh, um, <laughs> but I do want to, uh, record tomorrow. So I'm going to record Sunday and probably upload this on Wednesday. God damn, not Wednesday. Upload this on Monday. Anywho, I'll see you guys in the morning when I'm getting ready for work. Bye. I'm wearing my breast cancer awareness scarf. Today is October 1st. And if you're someone that has suffered from breast cancer, or if you know someone that has suffered from breast cancer, or is still fighting the battle with breast cancer, I wish you all the best and your loved ones all the best. And just know that we are out here supporting you and that you have people that you can turn to. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.
currently in the bathroom at work and I have a trip. This is my first time ever getting a four day trip. So I'll be spending the night in DC, then I'll be spending the night in um, Phoenix, which I'm really looking forward to because I need to get my color back because I'm starting to get pale. I'm starting to see green veins and I don't want to see green veins. Anyways, I just went off on a side tangent. And then I'm going to be spending the night in Charlotte. So it's three nights, four days worth of work that I'll be away from home. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned because I will be vlogging like another just flight attendant work vlog. I got this Starbucks from a subscriber. And she's always watching. She's always commenting. Angelica, big up yourself. She put it in her close friends, and I'm in her close friends. I think she in my close friends too. <laughs> I'll be keeping some of you guys in my close friends. I'll be posting stuff, guys. Like, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you want to see a different side of Pacana. But, anyways, um, what was I saying? I also ran into another um, subscriber at the mall that was yesterday. Um, that was amazing. We had an amazing conversation. I feel like I just I just began to know you guys and I absolutely just I love it like 100% Love seeing you guys in person or interacting with you guys on other social media platforms. It's just amazing This is a iced pumpkin chai Latte ice pumpkin latte chai something with pumpkin something with latte something with chai definitely ice it tastes like eggnog and I love it Mm. it's an iced pumpkin chai tea latte yeah I think that's what it is I don't know that, that is what it is um I'm really excited for the Phoenix one I swear to you I have a ramen place over there called Sosoba Sosoba and um I just thought I heard something it's giving Halloween uh, but I'm not looking for nobody you know nobody's looking for me either so keep making noise all you want um so soba and they do half they do something called happy hour where i think it's like 4 30 5 o'clock everything is half off so i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna get two ramen Ooh. oh i can't wait you'll see in this vlog and you can also check out the phoenix vlog i'll link it up here or down in the description box for you to check out but i'm so excited to eat that and then i'm gonna go to the pool I'm gonna go to the pool it's supposed to be 102 degrees and we'll get there by 12:50. let me get up out of here i don't i don't like that <laughs> i'm in the plane i've done my pre-flights there's nobody here but me so i'm the number two meaning i'll be in the galley for the whole trip so, I'm checking to see if everything is here. And now since I'm on the plane as well, I can take a cardigan off because I'm going to be sweating for a couple minutes straight. Um, Got our work devices here, so I need to check um, my flight. We have a pretty full flight. All right, I'm gonna check all this extra stuff, and I'll be back when I can be back. Which is Miami and the flight wasn't that bad or maybe it's because I haven't flown to Miami in a while it just didn't feel that long like it normally does um, 
in about an hour we're gonna head to Orlando and then from Orlando we're heading to DC and then we'll be spending the night in DC that's really all I don't got nothing to say um yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe and if anything I will see you guys at the layover in DC guys I am in DC I'm at the layover on the phone with Chad. <laughs> Future was born. My phone with Chad. So, I got some food from this Indian restaurant. Um, the food smells so good. Him asked me if he wants some utensils. So I'm gonna tell him yes. And he give me a paper plate and a spoon and um, a styrofoam plate and a spoon and um knife and fork got some garlic naan uh, i got bus um chicken tikka masala and it's it's creamy it's called it's creamy butter chicken so it's in this and it's like chicken and it's creamy and it's just nice um so yeah and then i have some basmati rice yeah Full meal, yeah. The the chicken tikka masala come with the rice. Oh, something's in my I eye. Hold on. I'm rush me. And then you can eat the um. This is the garlic naan. Hold on. What is that? It's bread, but it's garlic bread. Like it's a specific type of. I mean, I really say bread. Bread is like the simplest way to say it. Mm, it's just so good. You don't like it. You, don't like it. you can taste it by your mouth. You can taste the garlic. I mm, it's so good. Because it does. A bad mind, you know? Your bad mind bad. Your bad mind. Mega call Kai. Kai knows how to enjoy things with people. You bad mind. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it smells so good. Guys, I am in Phoenix, Arizona. And I'm gonna go get my favorite ramen from this restaurant. Um, which is a 23 minutes walk. So I think uh, I'm gonna walk over there with my crew member. I'm gonna see. She texted me back to see if she was still coming. But I'm just showing you my view. And look at those hills. Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> I'll be right back. Make sure you check out my Phoenix vlog. Um, yeah, sorry if the camera's shaking.
I thought I wasn't gonna have much to film for Phoenix. <laughs> Oh, so nice and strong. Oh my god, they have bath bombs and they're shaped like the Grinch. <laughs> That's so cool. Exactly. Wow. Oh wow. You're dainty. We got a lot of stuff going on. getting late well it's already late to be honest I need to go and sleep because I have an early pickup in the morning I'll actually my pickup time is 3 49 a.m. so I'm gonna iron my uniform and I'm going to go shower go bed and yeah because I don't have much time until I have to wake back up to get ready I really hope you enjoyed the Phoenix portion of the vlog. Um, Phoenix is actually pretty darn cool. Like I really got to see a different side of the city that I did not see in the last Phoenix vlog. And if you haven't checked it out, please go and check out the Phoenix vlog. I love that vlog. Um, and check out some of the things that I tagged, like some of the uh qr codes that i put up in the video the restaurants um donate if you can donate to some of the you know just some of the things that i showed you in the video i would really appreciate it only if you have it guys only if you have it um and yeah that was really it i don't know what else to say but thank y'all for watching and i'll see you in charlotte tomorrow Bye. Guys, I am in Charlotte. Today is Saturday, the 7th of October. And let me start off with the bathroom. I like it. It's a very nice room. It's definitely giving Charlotte. And when you see the room, you'll see what I'm talking about. Like a southern type of, you know, a southern type of niceness. The bathroom is a plain old bathroom. Very nice shower and everything very bright and then we come to the room voila i don't know i love i love the decor i love the decor i think it's really cute i like the picture frames that they painted to match the wall but there's no pictures in it i like that like i like it it's inspired me different shapes and sizes i just love it i love it then I have this little fake balcony. It literally, quite literally, is a fake balcony because you look like you could go out there, but it just does not open up. Other than that, everything else about the room is really nice. And the greens. I guess the color for my room is green. I don't know if everybody's room is green, but it's, it's giving, you know. And obviously this. This was the first thing I saw when I stepped in, and it looks really good now there's also a closet i'm starting to notice a trend with a lot of these places is that there's not a full length mirror like a nice grand mirror right here would be perfect because it's just a big open space but yeah so i like the closet 
I like that they open up. Oh, here we go. There go the full body mirror. But still, a grind mirror where I pointed out would have been nice. Anywho, me and my crew members are going to a taco place that the driver recommended us to go to. This is what I'm looking like. <laughs> I'm going to bathe and change and meet them downstairs. And we're going to enjoy these tacos together. Tomorrow is go home day. I can't wait. I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. I miss my bed. I want to see my mama. So, yeah. I'll see you guys when I'm all dressed. And here's my little outfit. I have my black flip flops that I always wear. It's in my, what I pack in my flat attendant bag video. I don't feel like carrying a bag today. So I have my room key and my, um, my cards right here, <laughs> right there. Uh, yeah, and obviously, Big bad Jamaica shirt, out and ripping, out and stunting. And that's it. And my phone and my camera. Um, I don't know if you can hear the AC is pretty loud, but that is really it. So I'm a little ahead of time, but I'm just gonna head downstairs. Um I really like the lighting. I need to turn off some of the lights so from the room tour. I need to turn off some of them lights. <sighs> And my sewing is holding up. Matter of fact, let me call Chad because I haven't gotten a chance to call him yet. Um, ever since I landed. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, we are here at Paco's Tacos and I got the margarita with no name and oh he didn't ask us what we wanted to eat yet. I'm gonna get the drink first. I'm gonna get the Paco's Tacos. So whose birthday is it today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. The um, it's Tanner's birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> they also have this salsa, <coughs> salsa and chips. It's like all tips. It was hilarious. Here's one of my crewmate, uh, crew members. <laughs> You wanted to get recorded. <laughs> now you gotta go watch the video. Now I gotta go watch. You gotta the see your cameo. Yeah, my cameo. Yeah, and this uh, is our. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is, looks great. Thank you. I am back from the restaurant and I'm so full. <laughs> I ate off everything. There's no food to bring home. But I'm just gonna do what I have to do, aka edit a video and go to sleep before my body starts to get hungry. Pickup time tomorrow is 5.55 a.m. and it's also go home day. We're leaving from Charlotte. I think we're going Charlotte to somewhere that's not far, like an hour and a half away. Then we come back from that place, come to Charlotte, and then we go to Charlotte to LaGuardia. So all in all, we have three three legs tomorrow and we reach home before five o'clock so i cannot complain i'm really really happy i feel fulfilled <laughs> i feel fulfilled so yeah i'm gonna get my laptop and if anything i will see y'all in the morning but for now i'm going to 
<laughs> enjoy my layover. So, bye. good morning, guys. It's go home day. I am all ready to go. Got ready on the phone with Chad. Um, this is my little ready day look. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it is for 5.52 a.m. Pickup time is 5.55. So. We are starting off strong. Not sure. Yes, we have been catered. It's not a full flight, so I'm only going to prepare this one cart. And I'll have my cart for me to run and do all the stuff that I need to do. We already did our pre-flight and it's it's an empty flight. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set up um this for my flight attendant girlies. We start to board pretty soon. I don't know why, but the top of my nose is itching me. Ooh, what is this? We got buy on board? How long has it been in here? Is this downline? Cause this, mm. I'm gonna be right back. I'm back home. And it's so cold, but I have on my little sweater and my outfit that I got from, um, from, uh, where did I get it from? From Victoria's Secret. I think it was in one of my hauls or something of the sort. I don't know if you know me, but I think this video is a little bit lean, so let's try to fix that a little bit. There we go. I think that's better. I'm going to eat. Okay. I got some oxtail and rice and peas from a restaurant in Queens called Smokehouse. It's a Jamaican restaurant that's very popular and mommy so kindly shared with me her lemon ginger um, drink. Now the next thing I'm going to do is keep on watching my Halloween movies. All of my devices. <laughs> crazy, right? So, so, so crazy. But yeah. 